Alright, so in this exercise, we're going to add uh, doors to the exterior and interior walls. And also, we are going to add windows to our uh, project. So aside from that, we're also going to create a new window type and then modify its properties and then add windows to that type to the project. Okay, so basically, in this video, we're going to add doors and windows. All right, so let's do this. This is very simple. So this is the continuation of our fire station project. So from the architecture tab, so I'm going to select here the door tool. Okay, just click the door and then you will be able to see here the door that is loaded to your project, which is M single flash. Okay, so I'm going to select 864 20 by 32 millimeters so let's click this one and then after that i'm going to place it say for example somewhere here okay so i'm going to place and then as you can see there's a temporary dimension that will somehow gives you an idea on what's the distance of your wall from the door end to end okay so i'm going to click it to place my door and there you go. And then for the door tool, this is a wall hosted family. So for you to be able to place your door, you need to have a wall. Okay. So that you can place your, your doors and windows. And then you can also see here these icons wherein you can click that to flip your door up and down, left and right. Okay. And then let's say, for example, I want to change this distance, okay? If ever you terminate your tool, you select that modify or you press escape, you just need to select again your door for you to be able to see that temporary dimension wherein you can click that to change the distance. So say, for example, I'm going to change this to 2400 and then enter, okay? Right, and then you can also use the tag tool here, tag by category. So just click that one and then you can tag your door. So before you click, so you have an option here on the placement if you want to add a leader line. As you can see, there's a leader line on, on my tag. So you can uncheck it here. Just toggle it off. Okay, and then you can click now your door. All right, and then I'm going to select here, modify. Okay, so let me just uh, flip this to the other side. So select the door and then I'm going to click this. Now, if ever you don't have a door loaded in your project, what you can do is you can go to the insert tab and then use the load Autodesk uh, family tool. Okay, so it load an Autodesk family from the cloud. So just click that one and then it will open up load Autodesk family. Okay, and then let's look for the doors. Just click the doors there and then you'll be able to see here all, all the doors that is available in your uh, project. Okay, so let's say I want to add here a glass door. So I can search it here. So I'm going to type glass and then enter. Mm, okay, so there's no glass door here. So how about I cancel that one and then look for, let me just change this by name. Okay, so glazing door. So I'll select this one. It's an exterior uh, double with glazing bars so I select that and maybe I also select this one here okay and that's it I'll just select here load and it's now being loaded to our project and there you go it's now loaded so if we go back to our architecture and then you click the door you can see that it's now loaded here in your project so you now have your exterior door and then another type of exterior that is uh, single okay so like for example I want to use that double uh, exterior double so I select this one and then let's
let's say I want to place it here okay and if you're going to place your door before you click you can also go to the mode and then you can toggle on tag on placement so that means if you click that you will be automatically placing tag on your uh, door if I uh, click here there is your tag already okay and then let's select another type of our exterior door let's say this one here and let's say I want to add one here there you go and then after that I can select here modify okay so that's how you place your door in your project so if you want to create another type of door so let's say for example same type of this one okay so aside from going to the door and then selecting it from the properties what you can do is you can just go directly to the door that you want to create click that right click and then create similar so just click that okay and then let's say i want to place it here so before you place you can also press the space bar to flip your uh, door placement right okay so I'll place one there okay and you can just complete this exercise by placing doors on it okay so in 3d view this is how it looks like so you can change your visual style to uh, shaded view so you can see your window okay very simple okay so very simple as long as you already have your uh, walls created and doors loaded in your project it's just a matter of clicking the location of your uh, doors okay so let's say for example uh, you want to add your uh, window okay so you want to add a window so like for example I want to add the window here so from the architecture tab so I'm going to select window here and then I will be using M Windows uh, 610 W. Okay, so I will click here. And then let's say I'm going to place one here. There you go. Okay, so it's the same as door. So window is a hosted family. So you need to have a wall for you to be able to place your window uh, properly so again there's also tag on placement tool here wherein you can automate the placement of the tag on your window so just toggle that on and then when you place your window it will automatically place your uh, tag okay and then I'll just select your modify so you can click that window and then you can also specify the distance that you want here so like for example uh, 600 okay so same with this one here so let's say 600 there you go okay so if you want to create and add a new type of window or new type of doors I think I already showed that to you last time when we are doing the wall exercises but I'm going to do it again so I'm going to create and add new window type so I'm going to select the window okay and then using this window I'm going to duplicate this so by going to the edit type to open up the type properties and then I'll select here duplicate and then I will name it let's say 900 millimeters W okay and then that's for the width W so I just select here OK and then for the width here so I'm going to change this to 900 and then after that I'm going to select here OK okay so if I'm going to place it here so there's our new type of uh, window placed in our project okay so you just need to click the placement of your uh, window okay now just like your door if you want to load other uh, default 
Windows or use the libraries from Autodesk. So you just need to go to Insert and then Load Autodesk Family. And then after that, you can go to uh, All Results and then look for Windows. Okay, and then you can just select here the window that you want. So let's say, for example, this one, you check that one. And what else? So hmm, I select this one and then just load it. And it will now be loaded to your project. So let's go to the architecture and then let's select here the window. And then there's the window that we loaded. So let's say I want one here, another one here. And then uh, Windows Bay Casement. So let's say that's too big. Okay, so I want one here. That's it. And then just select Modify. So you can always go to my website, learningwithreach.wordpress.com. And then if you want to support me, you can avail the exercises files here which is this one, add doors and add windows. So each of this will cost you $2. Of course, you can always uh, use your own project and own exercise file if you want. Okay, just in case you want to support me, just go here. Okay, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise. If you, if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.